Hello, I'm Kevin Kennedy of Beacon Exo Planning. We have created articles, videos, and presentations to help you, the owner, understand the challenge you will face in exo planning and succession. At the end of this video, you will find contact information if you would like to have a printout of this video and also a link to our Amazon number one bestseller, The Contractor's 60 Minute Exit Plan, How to Cash Out, Eliminate Taxes, and Retire Comfortably. Enjoy the video. My managers can't afford to buy me out. I hear this over and over again from owners. My managers don't make enough money to buy the company. I get it. The most common exit for contracting companies is a management buyout. And there are very few successful sales to competitors and consolidators. Management buyouts tend to be the most common transfer method due to the inherent nature of construction companies. The lack of recurring revenues and connection to cyclic economic conditions make construction companies a risky investment by consolidators or private equity. This means a contractor's most probable opportunity for monetizing the business will come from senior managers and family. The largest obstacle is that managers often do not have the financial ability to pay for the business. This requires the business owner to structure a plan that will allow the business to pay for the transition. Since the company cash flow will pay for everything, the owner must be sure to make it attractive to the buyer, seller, and the company to reduce the cost and the government's share. Careful consideration should be given to the many tools available to help achieve the best tax yield for the sale while minimizing the financial risk of getting paid for the business. Another major consideration for the seller is the financial risk of the owner not being paid. The owner's legacy of training the next generation of owners is critical. The senior management team's performance is tied to the cash flow that will pay you. This is why succession is such a key factor in a management buyout. The good news is that a management buyout exit has a lot of flexibility and if properly structured can have significant tax advantages. Imagine in certain situations a properly structured management buyout will reap a better bottom line result than an outside sale because of tax savings. Remember, it's not how much you get, but how much you keep. Key considerations include know the value of your company and exit without being clobbered by taxes. Sale price can be negotiated as opposed to a computed amount in accordance with the IRS ruling 5960. Understand the various tax liabilities, which can exceed 55% with bottom line after tax illustrations of each path. Prepare the managers for a succession as soon as possible because it takes time. Future cash flow pays for everything and your managers will drive the profits. Time is your best friend, so start early and implement slowly. Below are several business and key risk management concepts for your exit via a management buyout. Business. Visualize your financial future. Owners cannot commit to retirement and succession until they can visualize their financial future with an exit plan. The plan calculates the value of the company before and after taxes so the proceeds can create the income to maintain the owner's present lifestyle in retirement. Only then 
Is the owner motivated to pick and lead the team into the management buyout and succession process? Outside savings. While the owner is still in control, he or she should contribute as much as possible to savings and retirement accounts. There are several internal and external programs that are very tax efficient for the company and the owner. This will take the pressure off the price of the company during the sale. The strategy should be outlined in the exit plan. Benefits. The owner can still receive benefits during the sale and have those benefits phased out over time depending on the sales agreement. This is determined in the exit plan and understood before approaching management. Win-win. A management buyout is a win-win for the buyer and the seller. Management has the opportunity to build a significant personal wealth and the owner benefits by cashing in on the investment built in the company. Sellers also leave a legacy with trusted stewards who bring a new strategy. The company pays for everything. I remember in the late 1980s when our company's owner asked me if I would like to buy the company. And I said, Dick, I can't afford to buy the company. He said, Kevin, just keep the company growing and profitable and the company will buy my stock and give it to you. In other words, if you generate profit, the company will pay for everything. Ownership. Multiple ownership has become an increasing trend in the construction industry. In my case, the three of us bought from the second generation owner, and then the three of us sold to the four, five fourth generation buyers. Shareholders. The new shareholders must understand that their stock ownership does not necessarily make them the boss. There can only be one boss or authority. Yes, you are a senior manager and work collectively for the company's success, but you are an employee and associate first and a shareholder second. And as a shareholder, you benefit directly from the success of the company. Risk management. Risk. With a management buyout, there is a risk of the owner or owners not being paid by the managers. This is why it is critical to find the right person or persons who have demonstrated the broad capability to run the company and who show the leadership ability to take the company to the next level. Buy-sell agreements. The shareholder agreement must address the four Ds of death, disability, divorce, and departure and how they trigger the buy-sell. The agreement should leave little ambiguity for the reader. The agreement should consider valuation formulas, funding, and transfer of ownership. The golden egg. The company is the goose that lays the golden eggs. The company must remain fiscally healthy during the buyout and endure the economic cycles. During our buyout, we kept the payments flexible even though I had annual notes from the buyers. Why? Because the company came first. We were paid out early, even though we reduced payments through 2008 and overpaid during the great years. Financing. The sale is many times funded by seller financing, the redemption of the owner's share over time. The second option is by outside financing via a leveraged buyout. This can tend to be expensive and onerous if you miss a payment. Financial partners. Be transparent with your key financial partners, including your bank and bonding company, as they should be kept in the loop with your transition plan. The company needs to keep healthy financial ratios and the necessary working capital, but it will look different as money is transferred to the owner in the buyout. Your financial partners will understand and benefit from this well thought out transition plan. Personal guarantees. Get the new management and especially the controller engaged with your financial partners. 
Banks and bonding companies depend on the owner's personal guarantees, which will have to be transferred to the new owners near the end of the buyout. Character matters. The company associates are your key asset. Promote the best people in the right chairs for the company to perform. The empty chair must be replaced with a person of integrity. Leaders put the customers and associate first, not themselves. Succession. Succession is key as the owner is being paid by the management's performance. First, the managers need to get to the next stage by growing and performing as champions. During this time, they must begin to think like owners and always put the company first. Then they will move into leadership, deal with their blind spots, and put the associates and teammates first. Continuous process. Succession takes time. It is a continuous process, not a single event. The process is about development of talent and not the typical replacement of talent. Your best players are developed in your internal culture and owners must provide the curriculum, training, and leadership development. In conclusion, the process of exiting your business should not be taken lightly as there is so much at stake. For many owners, the business can be their largest single asset, more than 70%, and the primary source of retirement funds. With so many moving parts and the government as the greatest source of sale price erosion, a carefully designed exit plan should help overcome the many of the barriers that the owners will confront. In this process, time can be your best friend. So start early and implement slowly. Mm -hmm.